Hi there, and welcome to the next part of the Guitar 101 series where we're going to be looking at um, chord diagrams. Now, many people when they pick up the guitar they get a little thrown off sometimes because they think they need to be able to actually read music to be able to play music, um, and that's simply not the case. You know, it, it's, it's uh, very good to be able to read music and learn music that way, but it can take a long time, it can be a bit um, disheartening if you're having to learn how to read music as well as trying to learn how to play the guitar, because let's face it, it's not an easy instrument, no instrument is to uh, just pick up and play. So we've got to build you up slowly, and um, we've got to make sure that your confidence is there the whole time, um, so you don't have to be able to read music. One way that we can present musical material to guitarists, and it's unique to um, this instrument, and it's very easy to read once you understand the basics. Um, I'm going to present to you a chord diagram. Now when it comes up, don't be afraid, um, just give it a quick glance and uh, I'm going to talk you through what it actually all means. Now, you can see on there you've got a grid of lines, um, a grid of vertical lines, a grid of horizontal lines, so uh, you've got ones going that way, you've got ones going that way, and you've got six um, vertical lines, so six of the ones going this way. If you imagine, and I'm going to zoom in in a minute on the, my fretboard here, that this is a picture of a fretboard of your actual guitar held up like this. That is essentially what you'll be seeing is a fretboard diagram is a picture of your fretboard and it's going to try and show you where to place your fingers. Um, it might actually tell you what fingers that it wants you to place um, and it might even you know, tell you the actual notes you're playing as well. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this fretboard uh, so you can see how this matches up to the actual chord diagram that you can see at the moment in the corner and then I'm going to talk you through each stage of uh, you know, what, what it all means. All right. um, essentially the same thing that you're looking at on a chord diagram as well. Um, what you've got there is you've got the six vertical lines that draw down from left to right. They represent the six strings on your guitar. You've got the horizontal lines that are cutting across it and drawing it into sort of squares here. That represents the actual frets. So you can see how it's very similar, or it should look very similar to the fretboard here. Um, the next thing that you need to look at are what the dots actually mean on the fretboard diagram. Now, if you, the, the chord diagram I'm showing you is of a certain type of chord. Now, a chord is when you play uh, three or more notes at the same time. So rather than playing a single note, we're going to be looking at playing full chords. Now that's where you generally start um, for beginner guitar. You don't need to learn these chords yet, you just need to know what it actually represents. So rather than playing one note, I'm going to be getting you to strum full uh, six string chords. Now, sometimes you, you'll have a circle which is placed above the nut. What that means is it wants you to play the open string. So you will play the open note without fretting anything. It wants you to play it. Then you'll have certain dots on certain strings and certain frets. Now you can see with an E major chord, the first string that you'll play is an open low E. That's what that circle means above the fretboard diag, you know, above the, the thick black line, which is the, um, the nut. Now you can see the next one has a dot. Now that means you need, you'll need to place a finger and fret the note on that fret. Now if you look at that diagram, you can see that the first, if we look at the A string there, if we were to count up one fret, we would be in the space just above that black note up here. It wants us to play here on the second fret. So you would have to line up a finger, and at the moment you won't want to know which one, but you'd have to line up a finger on that note just behind the fret to make sure that it sounds good and play that note. Now the next string along, the D string, if you've covered the parts before you should know what I'm talking about here, um, has a dot on the same same area on the second fret. So we've got one on the second fret here, as you can see that note there, and I'm going to put another one just behind on that D string there. So I've got two fingers now on this fretboard. The next string down, you can see we've got a different fret, that there's a black note there. So it wants me to play on the first fret, so I count from my G string here, first fret, 
I'm going to place it just behind the fret so I've got three fingers on the fretboard and the final two strings you can see that there's an open two notes there so it wants us to play them but it doesn't want us to fret any notes. Now those combined, if I then play all six strings we, I, I'll be playing that E major chord that it's asking, asking me to. That's how you read a fretboard diagram. One final thing to note the open strings that it was telling us to play on the, on the low E and on the two higher strings up here sometimes you'll see an X instead of a, instead of a circle or a dot. Now the only difference is it means that you shouldn't play that note open at all. If you see an X it means don't play that string full stop. So if we had an X on the, on the top note here it means don't play that note, play any of the, any of the others that have circles on them whether that be fretting or whether that be the open notes at the top here. That is how you read a fretboard, fretboard diagram. Um, if you're having any problems with this, head over to the forum on rexpearson.com and uh, you, you have to sign up as a member, but it's totally free. All it is is an email address, uh, so you can access all the lessons in the structured format and uh, you know, head over to the, the actual you know, forums itself and get, get some help with this. Um, it should be fairly straightforward that, um, but if you do have any comments, feel free to post a, you know, a message so I can read them. The next part though, before we get on to actually playing the guitar, which I know you guys are dying to do, um, there is one final thing that you need to learn how to read. Um, you've read chord diagrams, so I can now give you chords, and you should be able to know at least where you need to put your fingers. Um, the final thing you need to cover is reading tab and I'm going to give you a primer on reading guitar tablature which is basically guitarist sheet music very simple um, and I'm going to show you how it is that we actually read it so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you can now read um, chord diagrams and we're going to be looking at a uh, tab in the next part okay and that is the final part of the guitar 101 course and don't forget to take the exam over at rexpearson.com um, to figure out if you actually understood everything that I've been talking about. Um, so I'll see you in the next part, the final part of the Guitar 101 course.